good morning and happy mother's day to all the moms out there obviously you will see this after mother's day i hope you had a wonderful day it's a beautiful sunday it's still going to be a little bit cold today but the sun is out it looks like it's going to be so nice today i think for us is going to be like a pretty nice chill relaxing day like yesterday we were running around like crazy we were really busy we were all over the place we were doing a lot of home stuff today i feel like it's gonna be kind of the opposite we're gonna be like really chill hang out i'm actually gonna go back to marshall's because i need to return something and i just got such good deals that i kind of want to just go back and like see what else they might have like put out overnight or anything that i might have missed because it was so amazing it was so funny literally my sister and my girlfriend from work were like we're all going back tomorrow we need to go back tomorrow like you just get like that high from the deals and you just need to go do it again so we are going to do that today i think and then i'm probably going to also stop and get some more bowberry biscuits because i think that today's the last day for the bow and get one free so i'm going to get those also our plant made it through the night i don't know if for some reason i thought i was going to like wake up and this is going to be on the ground but it survived so that's exciting Lily's over here cleaning so that's exciting hi sweet boy hi I have bacon going in the air fryer. I did it for a lower temperature and less amount of time today because yesterday was like a little bit too crispy. So I'm hoping that I have that figured out. Ken's bagel's done. So I guess I don't really understand like bacon in the air fryer. Like I feel like it definitely gets it nice and crispy. Some of it wasn't because I think it was overlapping. But I feel like it just shrinks the bacon up like way more than if you cooked it in like a pan or like in the oven. I feel like it's just so, so much smaller. I don't know. Maybe it's just because it's more crispy. So I had my bread bowl left from my Panera. So I just made my eggs and put them in my bread bowl. <laughs> How's your sandwich? It's top notch. Yum. Okay, as you can see, I'm in the car. I don't even know what the last clip I showed you was, but um, we had breakfast and I did a really quick, like 20 minute workout. I usually, well, my arms are like sore. <laughs> Can't even hold this up. I usually try to have Sundays be my like fairly like chill workout days, like not necessarily a rest day, because I typically like only take rest days if I really feel like I want one or need one. I don't really like force a rest day on myself because I really enjoy working out and I don't like to force a rest day on myself even though I know sometimes I should but I woke up this morning and like my whole body is sore like my back my arms my legs like my muscles just needed a break today so and it usually is how it works by Sundays like I usually need it so I usually just do like a shorter workout like less than 30 minutes on Sundays so I just did like a 20 minute cardio and when I do cardio it usually doesn't like hurt my muscles as much because I'm not doing strength stuff so it's kind of a little bit of a muscle break so I did 20 minutes of cardio I think I burned like 250 calories so quick little burn sesh just to get get a little sweat going and get moving but not like spend all day doing it you know so got my workout in got changed into my little sweatsuit and you'll never guess where i am i'm back at home goods and marshall's <laughs> so i do have a return to do um and i kind of just wanted to like see what else like maybe they put out today um me and my girlfriend were talking about it yesterday and we figured today would probably be less busy because it's not the first day anymore and it's sunday and it's mother's day so i feel like a lot of people are probably not going to be like rushing the store the first like minute it opens like they were yesterday and it really seems like that's the case because yesterday people were lining up like they're was already a huge line when I got here and I got here half an hour before opening and there was already a ton of people and right now it's half an hour before opening and there's not a single person in line and there's only like maybe four or five cars here so definitely seems like today is gonna be a lot different I'm just gonna kick it in the car I'll get in line whenever other people start lining up which I don't know when that's gonna be I don't necessarily want to be the first person but then again I guess I could be the first person right who cares someone has to be so maybe I'll go wait out there yeah, oh, uh, people are, uh, maybe, I can't tell who's employees and who's, like, guests or customers, but I need to work on posting my, my workout footage from today also, so I figured I could spend the half hour, usually it takes me about a half hour to edit and upload that footage to Instagram anyway, so I figured I can kind of kill two birds with one stone and wait in line and upload my video. I am first in line. Look at me. First person into the store. Good morning. Good morning. Look at us go. First peep. I'm the first one in this whole store today. Look at that. This is amazing. I can't believe it. Okay, let's see what we can do today. I was a little too busy working on my uh, Instagram story, but there was a bunch of cars in line, so, or a bunch of cars in the parking lot, so I decided that I would just 
be the first one to get out of the car. Someone's got to start the line, so may as well be me. So I was the first person in line. Wow, this is crazy looking. And we only had to wait for like half an hour, and they let us in a couple minutes early, so it really wasn't too bad. My cut like ripped open, and it literally won't stop bleeding, and I'm getting it all over everything. Oh my gosh. All right, we're pulling up to Bojangles. So Marshall's um, was not crazy today. There wasn't even a line like at when I was I was leaving. There was nobody waiting in line. So it definitely seems like it's a lot more chill today. Why is this so extremely long? Um, and uh, yeah, just there wasn't honestly that much better of deals either. Like I didn't notice a ton of new like additional products or better deals than yesterday. I found a couple new things, and then I did a pickup at Kohl's. Um, they're not open, but they're like letting you buy online and. The sun is so weird right now. And then drive up and they'll pop, put it in your trunk. Um, so I did that. So I can show you the couple things that I got when we get home. I'm getting some Bowberry biscuits, like I said, because they're still buy one, get one free. And we have some at home, but I want like a fresh, warm one. I'm going to bring one home to Ken. I think I'm going to go for a jog with him, which <sighs> I kind of don't want to do, but I told him I would, so I guess I will. Teach me how to be. <laughs> So now I wear the hat and I'm a good old, good old Ask boy. Kathleen to cut it for you. It's not hard. No, she likes it long. She wants it long. Yeah. So I've, I've offered to cut it as well. So fantasy of hers. Oh, I got that on camera. <laughs> and I can only applaud it. Okay, fair enough. So I am like kind of all over the place today. I I think I showed you I FaceTime with my sister to do our little Marshalls haul part two because she went back to Marshalls first thing this morning, as did I. Yo, that was crazy. I was first in line. I could not believe that. Like, no one was starting the line, so I was like, well, I guess I'll start the line. So once I got home, we ate our Bowberry biscuits. Those are freaking addicting. I think I like those almost as much as I like Krispy Kreme donuts. Not joking. I freaking love them. So we had our biscuits, and then we went on a run. Ken and I went on a run. He invited me on his run, like I mentioned. I was like hesitant because I had already worked out and I hate running. But then, this was an amazing run. I tried my new running shoes, which I think I've showed you guys in a previous video I got in from DSW. I can link them and show you guys them uh, later if I remember. But I've never had like proper running shoes. But then I tried these and I was like, oh my gosh, this is what running shoes are supposed to feel like. They felt so different, just support wise and everything than literally any other shoe I've ever owned, like sneaker wise ever. So running shoes are like literally the best thing ever and I had no idea. And then I also kind of feel like I worked on my breathing and I figured out how to breathe in a way that made a running like not so like, <sighs> I feel like I have good stamina and my muscles don't hurt and I like, I don't hate running other than the fact that I hate how heavy I breathe. But then I like halfway through this run, I figured out how to breathe and I was enjoying it. So anyway, I went on a very successful run, which is really fun. It's a beautiful day. It's a little chilly. It's like 65. So I wish it was like 10 degrees warmer, but it's still really sunny, not a cloud in the sky, a beautiful breeze, still like nice and warm-ish. So it was an amazing weather to run in. It felt really good and I got two workouts in today. So that feels really good. I had a perfect workout week. I've worked out every single day in May so far. So 10 days straight. So I feel good about that. Then after our run, we hopped in the shower. So my hair is all wet. I put it back in my braids. I literally am going to do this every single day, like for the rest of my life, I think. Shower, put my hair in braids, wear them in braids for a couple days, and then wear it crimpy for a couple days. I freaking love that. That's pretty much what's going on. We're doing a family Zoom call. Are you going to get it set up on your computer? Okay. So we're going to do a family Zoom call to... <laughs> Everything's going off. To say happy Mother's Day to my mom. I literally haven't even drank my cup of coffee yet. It's two o'clock. We have neither of us have had lunch yet. Like, I don't know. I thought today was gonna be all chill. Like, remember I was saying in the beginning of the vlog, like, oh, today's gonna be all chill. We're not gonna be all over the place. Nope, I've been all over the place. Literally haven't had two seconds to breathe at all today. As you can see, haven't even drank my coffee and it's two o'clock, so. That is how today's going, but I'm gonna get set up for this Zoom call. <laughs> Try to figure out lunch. Office? Does he, Kaylin? You're the authority. Absolutely not. <laughs> I don't know what There's he something, about. a little bit. Yeah, see? That's perfect. He does. <laughs> Kaylin, you gotta rethink this. No. So, oh. Shannon, I have earrings and a necklace and a bra on today. Woo! <laughs> I know, like. How long have you had painted it by hand then? Uh, no, just a cut in, I would say. It, it, it not oh, oh. order. So it probably helped feed the fence along, probably by, I mean, probably by a good amount, maybe even like 40%. You can, like, because the whole top of the string, you have to get the paint and the brush to haul that stuff away for like 200 bucks. And I was like, nope, I told you that part. 
And then I thought about oh, it. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, no, I'm just going to oh. burn it. So, Dang it. But you didn't move it out to the front of the house, risk, you know, dropping all the fasteners okay. on the way there. Loop-de-loop right now. Loop-de-loop. She has an eye for that. She said something when nice we were there. Babe. I don't think that that was that, but that's fine. I'm pretty sure he was. In the presence of that beauty, how could he not be? Nice. <laughs> That was the longest Zoom call <laughs> of ever. During that, I fixed the mask. So at least I was like productive. We literally just had lunch at like 2.30. We're not gonna be hungry for dinner for so long. I feel like today is just flying by. Like I was literally saying yesterday, not that yesterday flew by, but we were just all over the place. And today it's been like every minute has just been like kind of full of something. So now we ate some lunch and the call is over. <laughs> I haven't edited my vlog from yesterday yet. Usually I do that like first thing in the morning, but again, today's been, a little bit weird. I need to work on my vlog, but I think first, I literally just also finished my coffee from this morning too. That's how behind I am. So I'm gonna grab my book. I think I'm gonna sit outside for a little bit while it's like nice and sunny and warm and just read for a little bit, maybe get some color. I like, I'm in the right outfit to hopefully soak up some sun. And then I'm gonna work on my vlog after that. Ken's got his bread almost ready to go in the oven. It looks good, honey. No, it looks good. Why are you never happy with how it looks? It looks good. I like it. It smells good. Like even raw, it smells good. All right, y'all, I'm getting ready to make another charcuterie board. I'm so excited. I have all my meats in here. All literally like 35 pounds of cheese in here. Um, all my like little toppings, dips, breads, all the things. And then I'm also gonna make Caesar salad. So we're gonna basically have like appetizers, like Caesar salad and charcuterie board for dinner for Mother's Day. It's gonna be amazing. Just the sight of all these cheeses makes me so freaking happy. This is 10 different kinds of cheese. Oh my gosh. And then like four different kinds of meat. Wow. I just realized I forgot to put goat cheese on my last charcuterie board. Uh, I don't know how I did that. What? What? And I'm also wondering if I should put the laughing cow little cheese wedges. That would make uh, it. Babe, what are you doing? What? It's no big deal. Cause then that, if I use those other two cheeses, babe, that will be, I think, yeah, that's already, you can have it. That would be 12 cheeses, just 12 cheeses alone, not including the meats and all the other stuff. 12 different kinds of cheese. 12 cheeses? Check out the spread. Caesar salad with homemade dressing and homemade croutons, dips, and look at this gloriousness. This is literally what dreams are made of. At least this is what my dreams are made of. <laughs> and there's Ken salad, so we're just having kind of a light snacky dinner and I am so thrilled. Making some more cocktails, well, barely a cocktail. Coconut rum again, for usual. Lime. Wow. Diet Coke. And some carbonated lemonade. Wow. From here. Olive salad. Some Coca Cola. Ice. Glass. Cheers. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Mm. Ooh, the citrus. Some good old Diet Sam's Cola. <laughs> yeah. All right, guys, my heart is literally racing. Sydney has a premiere starting in like 30 seconds, saying this is goodbye. I'm literally having a panic attack. We're predicting that she's just moving studios or like getting a new, bigger studio. She's not leaving Charlotte. She's not quitting YouTube. No chance. <laughs> My heart is like racing. I'm like nervous. 10 seconds. <sighs> but she's not gonna announce it at- No, I know, but <laughs> still. No way. No way. No! Oh. Okay, y'all, she's just redoing her studio. They're not even moving studios. They're just redoing the studio. So false alarm, everyone relax. All right, so everything's fine. All is well that ends well. It's not, it's not a problem. False alarm, everything's good. I'm actually so excited now. I literally wanna like wake up at five o'clock in the morning just so I can see the video the second it goes up because I can't wait to see what the workout's gonna be like, what it's gonna look like. If y'all don't care about Sydney Cummings, I feel bad for you, but she's kind of like my idol and my inspiration and I just love her and I'm obsessed with her. Plus she's a, she's a queen city girl like me, so 
you know, we have that, we have that in common. I hope y'all had a wonderful, fantastic Mother's Day. I'm only a mother to two cats, but I still had a wonderful day. And it was honestly just such a lovely Sunday. I feel like even, I was telling Kenneth earlier, like when it's a holiday, even if the holiday doesn't necessarily apply to me, like today, I just feel like there's a different like vibe I don't know, like in the air when it's a holiday. And it just, every, it just kind of feels special to everybody, I feel like. So we had a really good Mother's Day. Did you have a good Mother's Day, honey? Yes. Good. <laughs> I kind of don't know, like, it's, I feel like, is quarantine over? Because, like, North Carolina opened back up? Like, kind of opened back up? When does quarantine end for me? Like, when I go back to work? When, I like, I don't know. See, when I go back to work, it's going to be, like, weird and different and limited hours and so i don't know when quarantine is technically over when because i mean i started going to stores and stuff so i don't know when quarantine's over i don't know when i'm gonna stop doing these quarantine vlogs or maybe i'll keep vlogging and not call them quarantine vlogs i really i don't know what the technical time period of quarantine is but i hope that you guys enjoyed today's vlog uh, make sure that you subscribe so you can see all of the ones that have happened and are coming and we'll see you tomorrow.